Welcome to week two of our Organic Disciples Devotions. Today, our question is, does reading a book that is thousands of years old really change us and our world? Listen to these words from 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. As Christians, we believe that this book is breathed by the very Spirit of God. We believe it's true from beginning to end. And we believe a book written thousands of years ago not only impacts our lives, but can actually change the world. And so Bible engagement is a critical part of our journey as, as followers of Jesus. And we believe that this book will actually rebuke us and correct us. You know what that means? Sometimes when we read this book, it points out what's wrong, what's broken, but it always points out how to fix it, how to put it back together. We believe that this book trains us in godliness, trains us in how to live for Jesus Christ. We believe that this book actually equips us, it says, for every good work. What does that mean? That means every good work as, as a husband, as parents, as friends, as followers of Jesus, serving our world. This book prepares and equips us. And we believe that knowing this book that engaging with the Bible will actually lead us out into the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what God wants for you. That's what he wants for me. We watch how Jesus engaged with the scriptures. We learn to, to love the word of God like he did. And we learn to love the word of God in a way that changes our lives. And then the word of God moves us out to the world with the good news of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we are so grateful for your word to us and how it transforms our lives, become more like Jesus. And Lord, may we be regular and uh, faithful in daily finding ourselves in your word so that we will learn more about you and be able to share your good news with the rest of the world. In Jesus' name, I pray these things, amen. Amen.